Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, Pete was up early today looking at properties and he found you a jewel. This one is on one of our favorite streets here in Mola di Bari. We actually stayed on this street for several weeks one time and it's right around the corner from our favorite pizza place. Now this street is very close to the shops and the restaurants, the supermarkets, everything you need and a stone's throw from the piazza. This apartment is absolutely gorgeous. Once you get up the stairs, it's all on one level and it's 160 square meters. It's light, it's bright, it's beautiful, and maybe needs a minimal amount of love to make it yours, but it's actually habitable right now. Take a look, guys. This apartment we're looking at is uh, actually also not far away from the main piazza, but this one's really interesting. It's a total of 185 square meters and it's essentially split up into two separate apartments. So let's take a look inside. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, starting out in this area downstairs is a big storage area. It could also be used as a garage for a small car, um, but otherwise it's a huge, huge storage area. Um, looking around the corner here, there is a cantina downstairs. Okay. There's one part of the cantina, it's really dark here, you can't see it, but there's a big storage area. And then I think there's a little more light, we'll be able to see this better. Yeah, it's still pretty dark. There's actually a big Serpentario di Aqua right here. It's this big thing that looks like a cube. You can kind of see the top of it here. Um, but it's huge, so a lot of water storage. Let's go back up the stairs. Okay, let's go up the stairs here. Now to, there's actually, like I said, two adjoining units. Uh, everything is on one floor, which is really nice. There's actually two entrances to this place. One is right here, one is right here. So walking in, let's go to the left. There is a bathroom here. Fortunately, the light doesn't come on but it's nicely done. There's also storage right above the bathroom, running the whole length of the bathroom. Okay, there's a small bedroom adjoining it. But nice high ceilings everywhere. Okay, and here is this beautiful large kitchen. This is really amazing. Very, very nicely done. It's big, lots of cooking area. And what's nice about this is it faces right out onto this big balcony. And by the way, these uh, windows here are brand new, along with the shutters on the outside. But this faces out onto this long balcony going this whole length of the upper floor. So we got this huge area right here. And by the way, this floor is really cool looking too. I like this. Could polish this up and really make it look nice. Okay, and you got the washer here, which of course you're gonna wanna replace. Looks quite old. Okay, and right next to the kitchen area, is uh, well, it's either a bedroom or could be used as a sojourno area. And there's central heat everywhere. Again, nice floors. Pretty good size room. Large ceilings, high ceilings. Okay. Again, looking outside, this is where we came in, up the stairway. We'll go right next door. Here's where you could actually uh, consider this a separate uh, apartment. 
Uh, right now it all connects together, but it could be set up to be a, a complete separate unit. This room right here is set up as a big sojourno area, but could be used as a bedroom. And this uh, connects also looks out to the same balcony that I just showed you. We're just over here. This is the end of the balcony. Okay, and I love the nice high ceilings here. Really get a sense of a lot of space here. Then continuing, there's another small uh, central heating unit there. Okay, and then continuing on this uh, floor here. This is just kind of used for storage, but it's a huge room. Um, could be used as a sojourno or, or also a bedroom. Lots of light coming in here, which is really nice. Okay, here's another room. Uh, this actually could be set up to be used as a kitchen. There's, um, looks like there's some plumbing here for uh, water and a drain for a kitchen if you wanted to use it as a kitchen. Okay, continuing on through. Here's a quite a large bathroom. Unfortunately, there's no light. But, uh, you know, you can put a shower uh, in the corner there if you didn't want to use the tub. Um, and there's also a storage area that extends along the whole length of the top of the bathroom. So lots of storage in this place. And another room next to it. Another bedroom. Big. Again, nice high ceilings. Really just looks like a Palatino here. Okay, that's the uh, walkthrough.